Ah, babe, we are finally here. The best hotel in the underworld. Oh, and it feels good to finally slip out of that glamour. Oh, you would not believe how uncomfortable it is wearing one of those things and trying to pass as a human. <laughs> and I did not think we would be uh, bogged down in infernal affairs for so long. <laughs> Apparently trying to get a return visa for a human going to the underworld is harder than getting a one-way. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Oh, and look at this place. Oh, it's everything I imagined it would be. Are, are those vile moss silk sheets? Oh, you have not lived until you have slept in one of these. It's the silk of a giant rock spider. Oh, I am going to sleep well tonight. <sighs> home sweet home. Shame they couldn't put us next to the well of tortured souls or the lake of screaming skulls. If I had known the Sleep Demon Conference was this weekend, I totally would have called ahead. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm here with you, that's the whole point of this. A little getaway, and just for the two of us. And of course you're gonna meet my parents, but don't worry about that part. No, 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 I... Just relax, relax. You're gonna need to meet them at some point, and I'm sure they'll love you. Well, my dad loves everything. He makes bad ideas for a living, and that means that he doesn't really have much of a, uh, standard when it comes to, uh, anything. Uh, but, but, but regardless, I'm sure he'll love you for who you are. It's just my mom you gotta worry about. No, 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 it's not you. It's, it's her. It's all her. Uh, my mom, well, she's a little, um, uh, well, she's a bit of a traditionalist. I mean, she's an infernal judge, so I get it. I, I really do. And, and well, a demon-human relationship, it's just a little unconventional by modern standards. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> Trust me, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. <laughs> but she's just always wanted me to find a nice demon to settle down with, you know, give her a little spawn of grandchildren. And I understand her point of view. It doesn't mean I agree with it, but she's an infernal judge. It's her job to uphold traditions and keep things from getting too crazy down here. But I'm happy with you. So she should be happy too. Or at the very least, happy for us. I don't know. I mean, I've learned so much great stuff in your world. I, how could they not be impressed? I've gone to college. I've, I've learned that Dungeons and Dragons game, which totally different from the name, but it was still good. Oh, and manga. How could people down here not love manga? I mean, I'm sure it's going to take off if I just, you know, circle it around. Uh, but on the bright side, you get to see my spawn hood bedroom. You're going to love it, trust me. It's filled with so many memories, like like my bashing rock or, or the knives my dad used to let me play with. Oh, and my soul jar. Oh, my mom gave it to me for my 83rd birthday. It was great. The soul used to do this thing in the jar where it would scream and scream and scream. <laughs> um, actually, that's all it would do. Eh, the stuff that entertains kids, am I right? <laughs> Look, babe, don't focus on the stuff making you nervous. Okay? 
meeting my folks, it's just one tiny part of our trip. I'm going to make sure there's more than enough fun to fill our time. You could meet some of my friends and go on day trips to the edge of the underworld with me, and you could even see where all the bad witches end up. And if you're uh, really good, I could take you to the top of the hill of vile darkness. It's amazing. It has this view of the Lake of Screaming Skulls. It's so romantic, if I do say. I've always wanted to bring a date up there. Cuddled in the orange glow from fires that never go out. I remember my last time up there was pretty perfect. The only thing that could have made it better was having you there with me. <laughs> so what do you say? <sighs> That's just what I wanted to hear. I love you so much I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Our love is, is like a... Uh, it's like a... Uh, a perfect scorching flame that flays any that dare stand opposed to us, forcing the world to its knees in its brilliance as those below weep and marvel at our perfection. Nah, and I'm realizing that's a demon moment. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to work on those. I've really been trying to cut down. You know how it is. You're a marquee of the underworld's chief general for a few centuries, and you end up with a couple of bad habits. Oh. oh, damn it. No, 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 I just, I just remembered. I forgot to pack my armor. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something so stupid of me. Oh, it was important. No, no, it was just, uh, I was telling you it was important. It's a, it's a status thing, and... You know, I, d I don't want to be turning up without my armor, because obviously, you know, people are going to look, they're going to see that, you know, that I've got with a human and shed all the demon stuff, and, and uh, as much as I love you, I do still like being a demon. I mean, it's pretty great, you should try it sometime. <sighs> Just, I, I don't know what I'm going to do without that armor. What? Babe, you, you packed my armor? Oh, see, I love you. Oh, that's so perfect. <laughs> oh, see, you remember the stuff I forget. Or maybe you just wanted to see me in uniform that badly. <laughs> what can I say? Humans love a demon in uniform. Oh, I miss wearing that thing. The enchanted obsidian, the spikes. Oh, don't even get me started on the carvings. I love that armor almost as much as you. But I think you just about win. Ow, ow okay, okay. You totally win. Now, babe, get yourself looking hellish. I'll go slip into my armor, and then we can hit the town and be the best-looking human-demon couple out there.